Hey guys, it's Sullivan. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a journal with me and this is my first journal with me and it's kind of different from the videos that I've made so far, but this is also my first journal so I thought that I would take you guys along with me for the journey of this journal, journal journey. But anyways, it doesn't really seem like this is my first journal because I do projects like this all the time. I just don't put them all in one place. So I just thought that I would start collecting all of these like memories in one place so that I can actually have something I can take around with me and add to and just express my creativity in. So right here, I'm just beginning it i'm doing the cover page like the inside page and i painted a picture of my face which i know how narcissistic of me and then i took this little like placard from inside my graduation announcement that my school sent out and i'm just putting that inside a little plastic case and taping it to the inside page and i know you couldn't really see it in the last clip but here's a better view and I just added a little bow on the corner and some washi tape that I thought went with the theme, kind of. And I was going for kind of a minimal theme in the next, in this one that I'm completing right now, the other inside cover. While the other side was more of just like random scraps that, I don't know, I feel like the colors kind of describe me and they kind of go with the picture that I painted. And I thought it was just a good way to like introduce myself and like just have it be an opener for the journal. So while I was doing this, I was watching Hollywood on Netflix. Um, it's a really good show. It's very entertaining and it has a lot of good actors that I really like. And I kind of just like to have something on in the background. I'll usually either have like a Netflix show that I'm watching but not like completely focusing on like that one or I'll put on some like studio vlogs. I know a lot of really good studio vloggers are on YouTube and like Paloma the Peach is one. I'll watch Cup of Jasmine's vlogs and I just really like to have something playing in the background as I work on stuff. So that's usually what I'll do and I've also been watching a lot of Katherine Karras's vlogs and her journal with me's and I really like her style so this was kind of inspired by her style and so what I'm doing now is I just took these two pressed flowers that I found in a book from a couple months ago and I just I used some decoupage glue to put those on and I, at this point, didn't have a brush to put it on with, so I used my fingers and it's really hard to watch, but it was even harder to do because I had crusted decoupage under all of my fingernails. And I found some old stamps from when I was little under my bed, and then I just took another little piece of paper and put a little coffee cup stamp on it because I thought that was cute and kind of added to like the neutrals, darker tones theme. And then I also found a little piece of ribbon and I thought that it would be cute as like a page marker kind of thing. So I just glued that on underneath the little coffee cup. And then I just took a little, um, I took a paper clip and just put that on top as decor, as decoration. And in the center of the page, I don't know if you can really see it, but there's an envelope that I cut off the top of, and that's the brown square. It's just an envelope. I kind of used this as a way to introduce the journal and, like, its purpose so I can look back on this page and, like, see what I wanted to do with it. So on the outside, I'm just putting something that says to new beginnings because this is kind of right before I go to college and I want to like keep this journal or a similar journal and take it with me so that I can look back on times in my life because I feel like I don't really document big life moments enough or even just like the everyday. I just like having something to look back on and be proud of creating at one point if that makes sense.
And then for this page, I am doing my first spread just because this is a show that I've been recently watching and I really like it and I just wanted to put my thoughts on it, put a little review about it in this journal. So this show is called My Mad Fat Diary and also that kind of honestly inspired me to start writing in a journal. I don't want this to be so much of a like a diary but I want it to be kind of just a collection of thoughts like as Katherine Karras says in her videos she makes a real point of saying it is not a bullet journal like it's not something that she uses to plan it's just something that she puts what she likes in and she uses it to document her life and I think that that's kind of what I want to do with this and anyways um this show is a Hulu no maybe it's a Hulu original I'm not totally sure but I've been watching it on Hulu this show really draws attention to the treatment of people that maybe don't have the body type that is thought of as like quote-unquote perfect by society I feel like not enough attention is drawn to the treatment that these people receive and I think that this show is really good because it shows this girl Ray's thoughts and just her teenage life um, and the treatment that she gets from kids at her school like she gets a lot of hate for the way she looks which is something that just shouldn't happen and I think we need to pay more attention to that as a society and so it's just nice seeing a show like this from a different perspective and it's also just so funny. Her personality is so good, and I love all of the actors in the show. It's really, really good. And I want to keep making these kind of show review pages because I'm definitely, like, a movie and show geek. Like, I've watched so many old movies, and I just love, like, analyzing all the parts of it. Another thing that kind of inspired me to start making YouTube videos because, I don't know, it's just... It's really interesting to see how the filmmakers have such different takes on just the act of filming and like staging characters, like angles, all of it. I just think it's really interesting. So I want to keep making these reviews and I also just absolutely love movies and shows. So I cut out some letters from a magazine and made it into the title. And then I put some washi tape. One is books, I think. The bottom one is books. And then the top one is just yellow stripes. And then I am cutting out some just like lined notebook paper and putting it on with a few little pictures that I cut out. Um, I printed out these pictures of the characters and then cut them out and I'm just arranging them. I definitely took some inspiration from for this from the show itself because... It shows little snippets of her diary, and some of the writing that I do on this page is similar to hers, like, around the guy that she likes and the other characters that she writes about in her diary. So I kind of looked at some of those type of pictures on Pinterest and then just got inspired for the style. It's also very 90s with, like, the colors and stuff, so I wanted to kind of capture that in the spread. And this journal with me is definitely on the longer side because I wanted to include like the beginning of the journal, but then I also really liked the way that this spread turned out, so I wanted to show this too. And I kind of skipped some parts because they are redundant and like just gluing, arranging, all of that, so I just wanted to skip to like the major parts of it. It has been so hot in Portland recently. This is not on topic at all, but it is so hot right now. I turned off the air conditioning to film this video, and I'm kind of regretting it because it's quite toasty. The sun is like blaring down. If I go outside for probably 15 or 30 minutes, I get burnt or slightly tan. I don't tan, but I'm trying. I've definitely tanned the most this summer that I have in quite a while and also I greatly apologize for my face being in this shot 
I'm still figuring out the angles that work best for this. In this angle, I think that I wedged my phone inside of a mason jar and then stuck that on top of a Starbucks tumbler that I'd taken the straw out of. <laughs> and then arranged it to look down on the diary because... I don't know, it's kind of tricky to figure it out without a tripod. And right now I'm just putting... I'm trying to draw five stars. It's definitely very difficult to draw stars without like the way that you're taught as a kid. So I drew some stars and then gave up my rating, which was like 4.75 stars out of 5. The only reason I didn't give it a full 5 stars is because there are certain characters that annoyed me slightly. They're not in the whole show, but they come in and out and I'm not a huge fan of them, so... But in all other aspects, it gets a full 5 stars. And then in one of her pictures in her journal, she had the gang, like, outlined with white on a dark, a darker picture, and so I wanted to recreate that with the same picture that was, um, in her diary, so I just did that with a white jelly roll marker, and what I'm using for all of these colored pens are jelly roll markers. I found, like, a set of 60, maybe? that I'd ordered off Amazon in like sixth grade and I'm so happy I did because these pens are amazing, I love them. Yeah. Thankfully they all still work too. And there's so many colors of them too. I think it wasn't that expensive on Amazon. I would recommend, especially for the white one. Then I just wrote a couple quotes around Finn. I wrote, he's so hot, he would make a priest kick a hole in a stained glass window, which is something that Ray said in the first season, I think. And then I wrote another quote around Ray that says, it's fucking embarrassing how good I look some days. And I thought that that was funny because she said it sarcastically, but I just like, I like her attitude around that and um in the show she's encouraged to say nice things about herself and like think well about herself so she like tries in kind of a sarcastic way and I think a lot of us can relate to that but at least she's trying it's definitely a step in the right direction and I just love her sarcastic humor in the show it's definitely up my alley of humor I love it and then on the other side, I'm just going to write a little review, so I cut out another piece of notebook paper, and then I put an extra picture that I had, and just wrote my thoughts about it. I said it was funny and insightful and relatable, and then I just wrote another quote from the show, and some little drawings... here's just a close-up of what I had and then in this part the light is kind of fading I did this in the evening and as you can tell from the whole video this was spread out over like a few days because it took me a while so this time is in the evening so the light is a little bit dim but oh well at least I got it done and in this part I'm just doing like a if you liked this, you would also like, and all of these shows are the ones that I think are similar to this, I've already seen, so I'm just giving those little reviews and then putting on some other shows that I want to watch soon.
for the top one it's you might also like and then for the bottom three it is a like to be watched category and i also want to keep some of those because i definitely have like a long long list of movies and shows that i want to watch and right now it's all in my phone like in my phone notes but i'd like to have a place to put that that's not my phone so that's also the purpose of this journal i want to like both collect and make lists of like things that i want to do in the future and so for the ones that i thought that viewers of this show would also like i had skins scam the end of the fucking world and sex education because i thought that those were all similar humor and i also just absolutely adore all of those shows and then for the to be watched i have hormones which is a thai drama as if which is also british i think and then i may destroy you which is british and which i've heard a lot about from a lot of people primarily podcasts that i listen to and british youtubers that say it's a really very well done show and they highly recommend it to everyone to watch and it surrounds like black lives matter type things so i need to watch that i'm really curious about it and then i'm just gluing all that down and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys didn't mind my droning on in the background either and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.